Welcome to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. In this video, we want to talk about how to set up a spiritual altar or a feng shui altar. Whether you are religious or not, we all need a quiet place. We can be alone and recharge our spirit, especially in a time like this, when there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of stress going on around the world. The purpose of a spiritual altar is to set up a space. You can meditate, you can feel totally relaxed and peaceful, or it can be a reminder of your dreams, goals, or what's the most important focus in your life. There are two basic types of the spiritual altar. One is religious, the other type is more personal and non-religious or you can combine both if you want. And the setup will be a little bit different. The first thing we want to decide is the location of the spiritual altar. If you have religious statue, it tend to be more strict on the placement of the altar. One basic rule is to place the religious statue so it's facing outdoor, either through a window or facing a door. If they have a view of the outdoor space, either through a window or a front door, it's less likely to attract negative spirit. And the second rule is try to avoid any negative Sha Qi. For example, we don't want to set up your religious altar facing a toilet or right behind the toilet. Other type of Sha Qi including any sharp object or triangle shape. If the sharp part is facing the statue, that's not a good location for setting up your altar. Or if you have anything smelly and dirty, like a garbage or recycling area, it should be away from your spiritual altar. Another one to avoid is to place it under a bin or a lowered ceiling area. Any of this can mean disrespectful for your religious item or statue. So avoid them if you can. I also have a video on setting up a religious altar at home. There are a lot of rules in traditional Chinese feng shui to set up properly. I will link it in the description below the video. If you don't want to display any religious item, you just need a space to center yourself then it's not as important to follow all the strict rules. The most important thing is to find a place you can feel totally relaxed and away from all the disruption. Maybe you have family members or roommates and only you will know which spot in your house you can find some peace and quiet. It can be just a small corner on your desk or beside your bed or you can set up a bigger area, maybe in a living room or dining room. You can also find your best location according to the feng shui chart. One easy way is to look at the annual flying star feng shui chart. You can set up your spiritual altar in the location of the star number one, six, eight, and nine. Those are all auspicious locations. And in 2020, that means the northeast, northwest, southeast, and the west. But if your space is very small, you don't have to limit it to those areas. If you can find a spot that feels right for you without too much distraction, then it's a suitable location. Once you find your ideal location, we will collect several items to make it your own personal spiritual altar. There is no limit on what you can place in your own spiritual corner. Here is a list of the commonly used objects. The first one is candles. You can place candles, incense, or just add some lighting. Candle is a classical object for any spiritual altar because fire is a very primitive natural element to connect with spiritual world. Both candle and incense help you meditate and calm down. And the lighting is a modern version of the candle fire 
because it's hard to keep candle on all the time but we can turn on a small lighting to have some brightness and create some positive energy. The next one is crystals. The natural crystals are from the earth so it has a special energy that's connected to the earth and different colors of crystals have different meanings. In feng shui it can bring you different luck or you can mix five element colors together for the balance of five element energy. Another choice is to use crystal for the seven chakra so you can have rainbows of color each color of crystal can help you balance one chakra. Besides crystal, you can also bring in natural elements such as a collection of some stones or natural flowers and plants or different herbs. They are part of the nature so it can help us relax and feeling centered. The next object you can display is photos or images including an artwork, drawing or posters. For example, you can display pictures of your loved ones or the people you admire or beautiful locations and scenery. With the same idea, you can also display inspiring books, poetry, motivational quotes or any words that's empowering to you. Another way is to place a journal here so you can write down all your thoughts. The writing can be a form of meditation too. The next choice is music. It can be any music or the sound of the wind chime or a bell. The vibration of the music can also create some positive energy. The last one is to place some statue, maybe religious statue such as Guan Yin Buddha or non-religious one, maybe a money god or those feng shui animals such as Pi Xiu, Qi Lin. You can display one or more statues and depends on the goals you like to achieve with your spiritual altar. Some objects might make you feel calm and supported or feel the love and healing. Then you can include them in your spiritual altar. The feng shui altar is very personal so you don't really have to think too much. If it feels right to you and you enjoy staying in that space then it's a right spiritual altar for you. Once you set up your altar the most important thing is to spend time here regularly even if just a few minutes a day so it becomes a habit. Every day you can come here to relax pray, meditate, or write your journal. The idea is to create your own space so you can reflect, recharge, and feeling calm and centered again. I hope you liked today's video. Thank you for watching and talk to you next week.